For many stadiums and arenas, there is frequently a trade-off between sustainability, performance and iconic design. Hangzhou Sports Center unites all three, featuring a poetic floral-inspired design that simultaneously reduces carbon and material use. The development uses 67% less steel than Beijing Olympic Stadium, making it both beautiful and sustainable while creating a world-class sporting venue for a booming city. We keep exploring Hangzhou and it's been an amazing time, the one we've spent here. I have behind me the Hangzhou Olympic Sports Center. It's a very, very beautiful stadium that was created mainly for football or soccer matches. But right now it's a multi-purpose venue where actually the big opening ceremony happened a few days ago. The Hangzhou Main Stadium and Tennis Center resemble two giant lotus flowers commonly found in the West Lake. The complex stands on the southern bank of the Changtan River. The modern architecture of the two arenas represents two things. First, the design symbolizes the uniqueness of local culture that believes in lotus as a symbol of purity, novelty and peace. On the other hand, both sports buildings also signify the development of Hangzhou's science and technology. That opening ceremony didn't use any fireworks at all. They're trying to be more environmental friendly and they're trying to use less and less fireworks nowadays in these kind of big events. Instead of that, they use a mix of AI and uh, different kind of effects to create a very, very beautiful ceremony. This is actually a huge complex with several venues for different kind of sports that was created to also stimulate the practice of different kind of sports. There are also a lot of cultural venues like museums, exhibition centers and art centers all around this place. I just want to go around and explore a little bit to show you a little bit of the beauty of these and many other venues for the Asian Games 2023. The Olympic Complex is located in the Binjan district, one of Hangzhou's high-tech zones. Therefore, it's not surprising that both venues are thoughtfully designed with the latest technology. The main stadium, known as the Grand Lotus, is composed of a steel frame that forms 28 large and 27 small petals. Each layer of steel is carefully designed, inspired by the texture of the ancient silk, waving systems and dynamism of the Changtan River. The architecture of this arena is considered one of the most iconic in the country after the Beijing National Stadium, a sport arena nicknamed Bird's Nest that was built for the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Hangzhou's main Olympic stadium has a total seating capacity of 80,000 people. The stadium is the third largest sport arena in China after Beijing National Stadium with a capacity of 91,000 seats and Guangdong Olympic Stadium with a total of 80,000 seats. The Hangzhou Olympic Sports Center has become the venue of the opening ceremony and will also be the location for the closing of the 2023 Asian Games. To ensure the comfort of spectators, the seating area of the stadium is designed without any blind spots. people is super excited about these games you're always finding places like pictures like these here we have three mascots and we have the big stadium over there there's a lot of people here coming just to take some pictures there's even police officers helping them taking pictures uh, with the stadiums behind <laughs> The 
The tennis court, known as the Little Lotus, is built with a steel frame that forms 8 large and 24 small petals. The arena, which accommodates 10,000 spectators, is equipped with a standout feature in the form of a roof that can be opened and closed by rotating it approximately during 20 minutes. The grandeur of the main stadium and the Hangzhou Tennis Center is complemented with the gymnastics and the aquatics arena, which becomes a unified building shaped like a butterfly's wingspan. The building is made of 20,000 steel components. Its roof is adorned with 210 light pipes that can diffuse natural light from outside into the room. This lighting technique is said to be able to save 100,000 kilowatts of electricity each year. I just came right now to the one of the entrances that of course right now if you don't have the tickets you don't have access to this place but this is one of the big gymnasiums and one of the olympic venues for several disciplines including a big beautiful basketball court and this is also a venue for uh, the swimming disciplines you can find some olympic swimming pools here state-of-the-art venues that i actually had the chance to visit like maybe a year and a half ago i came here i'll show you what they actually look like in this footage. Check it out. This is the Natatorium of Hangzhou. You can tell the quality of the building, the technologies they're using for the swimming pool, for the benches, for the roof, for the lining. These structures are very, very beautiful, like so well designed, so well constructed. This is another of the venues that is about to get ready in the same complex right next to the natatorium and in the middle the court is set to be a basketball court and a nice ring so it could be a multi-sports venue it's a facility that could be easily converted and host thousands of people and spectators Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.